try and get some of these uh, fence posts set up and ready to go. I like to get my uh, corner braces in. I got the posts up the other day and uh, it didn't rain as much as we thought, but they're calling for storms again tonight. Most of the storms last night went north of us. So I'm sure a lot of people have seen these brackets before. They fit on top of a T-post and then you got this little piece that hooks into there and you bend it and then that creates your angle to go down to the next T-post to create a, uh, uh, know, a triangle that keeps the post from bending. So the difficulty I'm finding is that I bought these at Tractor Supply. I bought the T-post at Tractor Supply but the gap between these two notches is supposed to fit in between the uh, two barbs there and it doesn't go down all the way. You can see there's that gap there and that causes the slip piece in the back it's not able to slide in there. So even though I bought these at the same place they don't fit. So luckily we had gone through and pulled up a whole bunch of fence posts from around the property. I got a pretty decent pile of them there and some of those don't fit either but occasionally I'll find one where the piece slips in there perfectly. So the spacing is good and it locks in place. So my suggestion would be before you buy these clips, uh, maybe take one out and make sure it fits your T-Pose. If you're buying them at the store, make sure they fit there. Like I said, I bought everything at the same tractor supply store. I figured they'd fit, but they do not. So I'll figure it out. It's uh, really windy again today. That's uh, not so bad down here by the barn, but when I get out where the uh, corner posts are, I'm sure they're just gonna, my camera's just gonna blow over. So I'll try and get uh, as much video as I can. Um, but if not, I'll definitely take some video when we're putting the, the T-posts in in a row. I got a uh, Titan post driver, commercial post driver, to do that. Uh, I don't want to sit there all day knocking those in by hand. It'd be really rough. Plus, if I hit rock, that the uh, commercial versions are supposed to have enough power to push through roots and push through rock. So I'm definitely going to need that. But uh, right now, we'll just use the hand driver and uh, see if I can get some of these in. I'd like to get them all in today if I can. That'd be great. Okay, I'm at the post here. I think, I believe the instructions say I'm supposed to nail this on like that through the top and bottom tab or through those uh, those half circles there to nail it or screw it there. And then my accessory piece would fit like that and then it bends down this part right here would bend down to where the T-post is. But again, that means it's sticking out this far. I don't know if I like that. Um, solution I got, if I can get it undone here. Goats are playing. They start doing that to us, they'll walk up and they won't nail you, they won't buck you really hard, but they'll give you a little love push every now and then. Yeah, like that. It's gonna push on me, huh? The other option is to take this and then through that little part and that little part. Hey, I know, I see ya. I know you're there. You're not getting enough attention or something. Oh, thank you. That was gross. This is gonna be difficult. <laughs> so anyways, through those two parts right there, put it like that. Am I not like loving you enough? Screw it through and then I could bend those tabs down that way. And that way I would be right up, right up against it, which is a better option. Hey, if you keep doing that, I'm gonna lock you up. Um, I am, uh, you're honoring. She's gonna think I'm playing, then she's gonna do it even more. But if I can get a way to drill a hole through here, then I could just put the uh, T post up in there, and that will definitely support it. It's not gonna go anywhere, it will look better. And then down on that end, I can attach it to the T post with the bracket. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a hole saw or something I can use to get a uh, circle about that size. 
see how well that'll work. All right, oh, come on. I went ahead and drilled out a hole. I thought it was gonna work great until I put the T-post in there and then actually popped the whole top of it off. Um, I went a little high because the hole really needs to be down here and I figured we'd be cutting the top of this post off once we get the uh, fence in, we know what our height is. So that's not a big deal, but this will still, it'll still fit up in there and probably not go anywhere, but I'm not really sure what method to use. I also don't even know I mean, that's in there so hard, I don't even know if I need to uh, do angle posts at all, really. I mean, you see a lot of farmers' uh, fences, and they just, I mean, well, I'll take it back, they pretty much have, have them in every corner. So, I'm proud to figure out a way to make this work. Um, I don't know yet. I keep thinking about it. Okay, so here's what I've decided to do. Got, I got this post lined up and ready to start nailing it in. Hopefully I won't uh, hit any rocks or anything. Then I'm just going to take a couple screws. Put my T-post down like that. And put two screws through there so this catches. I think that's all I would need to do. So I'll get that set in place. I'll get the bracket on there so that attaches. Lean up against there, get my screws on, and then that should be it. That'll be pretty easy. The goats have been horrible. They were ramming me earlier. They weren't ramming. They were just they were just trying to push me around, huh? They wanted attention. Well, I know they came over here and they were kind of headbutting each other, and then they decided they were going to headbutt me. So they just sat there and pushed on me for a while. Really? Be very helpful. Preoccupied now. It's easy. So anyway, this is basically what I did. I just put two screws in there, and uh, I think that's going to work pretty good. Once I get the fence on there and tighten it, it should pull that a little bit uh, so it tightens up, but you know, it's not going to go anywhere, I don't believe. And those are decking screws, so they're not going to ride out on me or anything like that. So that's the method I'm going to use. If it breaks, I will fix it later. But again, I don't have the uh, GoPros or anything out with me right now. It's because the wind will just blow them right over. And uh, so Natalie luckily came down and got a little bit of video. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of them in. Uh, it'll be the exact same process. And then uh, hopefully when we come back, we'll be uh, sitting T-posts uh, with the post, the uh, automatic post driver, which that'll be easy, I hope. <laughs> 